Hey, I'm Roger Kirk. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner here at Preferred Medical Group. And today I'm just going to spend a little time talking about safe sleep practices and what you can do to ensure your child has a safe sleep environment. The safe sleep environment is a environment defined by the American Academy of Pediatrics as one that prevents SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome, which is a uh, horrifying uh, thing that may happen where a child just dies for no reason. For decades and decades, babies were uh, sleeping on their abdomen, on their stomach like that. Studies showed that this was not a good way to sleep and that the babies somehow were suffocating or were having heart anomalies causing them to spontaneously stop breathing. Very dangerous, very bad thing. So the best position for your baby sleeping is on his or her back and an empty crib. Empty crib means a crib or a bassinet while they're really small that is free of pillows, of assistive lifting devices, no bumper pads, no occlusive uh, coverings, no extra teddies or stuffed animals, extra blankets, anything that may cover the baby's face, nose or mouth because something can get over baby's face like this and then they can't get it off. Um, also, babies in a soft bed with pillows, their um, necks can get hyperextended and that could cut off the airway. That could definitely cause suffocation because uh, babies under three or four months really don't understand that they can turn their head to get their airway back open. The crib mattress needs to be firm, not soft because two, the baby doesn't need to sink down into to the bed like some of us like to. Some of the questions we get about sleeping is, um, is it okay for my baby to sleep or co-sleep with me? The answer to that is not really. We prefer baby sleep in his or her own crib in a flat, unobstructed, open environment. Baby's bed is the best bed. Your bed is not the best place for your baby to sleep. The reason being when, when we are adults and we're working and taking care of babies and we're tired and exhausted and we sleep, we may sleep very soundly. Baby may be sound asleep too. And inadvertently, we may roll over on top of the baby and that would cause suffocation, even death. We don't want that. Co-sleeping is different from sleeping in or rooming in. Rooming in is great. Rooming in lets you bond with your baby. That means you've got a, a crib or a bassinet in your room near your bed where when baby gets upset, gets fussy, you can soothe your baby. Nothing wrong with that. And a lot of people do that even six months to a year um, after baby's born. No problem at all with that. We just don't want you to sleep in the same bed with your baby. And that's a better, you get better rest, baby gets rest, everybody's safe, everybody's okay, everybody gets good rest. 